G'day viewers, this is my custom fishing and pack on motor here. I've uh, rewired the whole lot. I've got 2.2 millimeter wire on it now. Uh, originally it had the 0.8 millimeter, uh, so it's a lot bigger wire. I've got uh, two extra turns over what the one millimeter wire has on it. So the one millimeter wire has 44 turns. I've got 46 turns of 2.2 on here. Um, I've got taken out the near, uh, taken out those ceramic magnets out of the st out of the rotor, and I've put in these uh, neodymiums. If you can see them there, uh, there's a magnet on the bottom and a magnet on top. So I've used two. I've doubled them up to get the, the best thickness for what was available. Uh, they're about ten times stronger, maybe more, so than the ceramic. So. It's uh, making good power. This thing I've already run it. And it's uh, it's making uh, two kilowatt. But my problem is these coils are getting very very hot. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be okay running at that temperature or not. It certainly creates a little bit more resistance. But uh, I'm going to have to somehow work out how to make some sort of cooling system on it, some better fan than what it has got. I've as you can see on this side, oops, I'm not sure if you can see that. I've drilled out extra holes along here so that it uh, can cool, cool it a bit better. Uh, before, when I was running the bridge rectifiers, I didn't have the heat sink on, and these were getting so hot they were smoking. And I thought that was way too hot, even if I put the heat, heat sink on. But uh, I put the heat sink on and it makes a huge difference. I didn't think it would, but it does. And as you can see, the white stuff in there is a, a heat heat transfer paste. So I've got that on there. Now what I'll do is I'll just uh, fire this up, and I'll show you the amps and uh, the volts. The volts are. I'm going to run it at 500 RPM, and then I'm going to run it at 700 RPM. At 500 RPM, it's it's making about 13 amps, but it's not. Um, making enough volts it's making about 110 volts uh, I really wanted 200 volts and I'm not getting that out of it so I'm not sure what I'm going to do but it's making about 160 volts at uh, 700 rpm and it's getting pretty hot so if I can get a good cooling system working on it uh, and maybe run it a bit faster I might get some more volts out of it uh, we'll just I'll just have to keep playing around with it so anyway I'll start it up and uh, we'll see see how it's all going
I don't know what's going on with the amps there. I think I've buggered up my amp meter, my multimeter, because uh, I couldn't. <laughs> I was taking so long to put in the the lead into it because it looks like the the connection's melted <laughs> because it's only a, a 10 amp. You can see there's 10 amp rated, and uh, I was pushing up over that before, so I probably melted it. But it was it was pumping out 13.5. Uh, uh, amps before which is pretty good uh, for this considering they only made about three or four amps uh, originally from st in the standard view but uh, that is it's hot I can't I can't keep my hand on it so it's, I can touch it but yeah can't keep my hand on it so that's, that's how hot it's getting um, I'm going to have to run some sort of cooling system. I don't know what I'm going to do. So if you guys got any good ideas on how to cool this thing, let me know. Thanks a lot.